So we're going to get back to the bucket in just a moment. However, we do have regulars on this show, everyone. A couple of very fun human beings. We've always had regulars on this show that uh, have grown and developed and been found and discovered in our farm system here of regularship at Kill Tony. This is uh, what many people are saying is uh, perhaps our greatest lineup of regulars ever. This first guy, very polarizing figure. You either love him or you hate him. Uh, he has had some major breakthroughs in the last couple weeks. He does this new thing sometimes where he might try to get the audience on his side by using local references. But anything can happen. Let's see what happens here. He's one of my favorite comedians in the world. It's the great William Montgomery, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> Wait a second, what? <laughs> Let's give it up for Michael Irvin Johnson, Los Angeles Lakers. So my uncle bought me some Sammy Sosa cereal last night. I ate it and woke up black. Where the fuck is Tony Chin? My uncle, Tony Alcatraz, took me for ice cream last night. We had a good time down in Venezuela. I'm totally fucking this up. I'm I liked it. I liked it a lot. William Montgomery. Heck yeah. This is very exciting. <laughs> this is very, very exciting. Uh, William, clearly uh, another amazing set from you. Uh, everything seems totally normal. Uh, definitely not David Lucas in a beard. Um, this is interesting. Tony, I, I think I'm I have abs- cancer. Oh, you too, William. Answer. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I'm surprised you didn't use a good old uh, reference that uh, um, like only a disease maybe uh, black people could get or something like that, like sickle cell or something. Okie dokie. Yeah, uh, or maybe high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I've never seen a black man with a red beard before, and it is frightening me to my core. This, should be, this is like something from Tales from the Hood or something like that. This is, uh, you've never looked more like the chef from South Park before and than right now. Here, take a step back, stand between uh, Jeremiah and Daniel so the audience can absorb this uh, frightening shit. I guess uh, I've never really thought what would it look like if a black man had a red beard, but uh, this is it. Um, I'm so frightened that William's going to come out in blackface right now. <laughs> Tony. I'm literally shaking in my boots. Uh, <laughs> Tony, does this turn his Crocs into gators? <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. So this is Black William Montgomery. We've never seen. Uh, this is like a William from Montgomery, Alabama. I guess we could call this character. Um, so what's it? Uh, what's life been like being Black William Montgomery? <laughs> I woke up this morning and my lymph nodes hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I took some Zantac 75. <laughs> that always helps. And drank a PBR. Now, you and uh, David Lucas actually have a brand new podcast that you guys are starting together. It's called, what, Brothers, right? Brothers in Cursive, but it's not in cursive. Oh. It's called Brothers in Cursive. Oh, okay. I guess that works. I Filming just... at Death Squad, Red Band's new studio in Burbank. Oh, there you go. Absolutely. It's very exciting. A new Death Squad podcast. Fuck yeah! Well, that's uh, that's exciting stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to keep you too long. Anything else you want to talk about or give shout outs to or anything like that? Or where's Tony Chin? <laughs> okay. I love your style. There he goes, the great William Montgomery. Everybody, <laughs> William Montgomery, Alabama. Well. I guess I'm just going to bring up David Lucas now, uh, and uh, this could be the first ever canceled episode of Kill Tony. 
So let's just see what happens here. Uh, I had no idea any of this was happening, by the way. If you're wondering, like, oh, this is great that Tony coordinates this wacky stuff that happens sometimes. Not at all. So, again, I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, you know what's funny is I did know that was going to happen. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> wow. Well, Me there, three. There you go. Well, there you go. That's very fun. I, well, I wasn't, don't, luckily, that doesn't change anything at all. Um, put your hands together for him. Let's find out what happens here. It is David Lucas. Mm. Oh my God. I'm tired of being big and black. You know what I mean? I try to walk down the hallway and my knee hits a table. <laughs> Y'all ever been big and black and put a red shirt on? <laughs> they call me the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> I don't drink Kool-Aid. Shit's hard, man. I'm thinking about trying crack. All those motherfuckers are skinny. <laughs> Ain't nobody giving big guys no pussy. Ask my mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, wow. Oh. Groba Chris, shut the fuck up. You always talk. Wait, where's Groba Chris? <laughs> you, wrote, you wrote that for Chroma Chris? He's on the road. He's Red Band looks like cat food smells. <laughs> oh, you got roast jokes like David Lucas. This is Joel's dick is so big, it drags on the ground while he's riding Tony's coattails. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah has had sex, but is somehow still a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Reagan God. and Watkins, more like... Watkins and why did I start a band with Patty Reagan? <laughs> He's roasting the shit so, out of everybody. So uh, Tim was supposed to be here. Um. Until I met Tim Dillon, the only other gay Republican I knew was Tony Hinchcliffe. Hey, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That is true. David Lucas, more like David Lupus. Wait, that's me. <laughs> Hey, Brian, I didn't realize keto was 80% hard liquor. <laughs> you got a drinking problem. <laughs> Brian has a drinking problem. He can't stop drinking. He drinks Captain Morgan. Let's give it up for Captain Morgan. <laughs> This is the greatest comedic monster I've ever seen in my life. This reminds me, I watched uh, the, this new... Let's give it up for Bud Light! <laughs> Anybody out there ever heard of... Ra Let me do that one more time. Hold on. Uh... Anybody out there ever heard of Heineken? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh... I messed that last one up. My apologies. Uh... David forced me to do this. I was very against it. I mean, it worked out unbelievably. This you might... just said that? Oh, wow. Oh, someone's... He's, David Lucas clearly be, has some real William Montgomery Are you influence. Hispanic? All right. He's just... He's doing... William always does a special kind of crowd work where nobody knows who he's talking to. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a very trademark style. Most comedians want to get an answer out of somebody. He just sort of looks in an area... Are you Mexican? 
Oh, David Lucas is now winking at the audience. Oh, like well, wait, I've never seen David <laughs> Lucas do this like before. Uh, Santa Claus. <laughs> this, is a, this is one of William Montgomery's trademark maneuvers. Uh, this is impressive. Oh my God, so, uh, David, David Lucas. Let's go. What up? <laughs> oh, you look. You have more roast jokes there. You have anything left? This is impressive. How much you prepared for this? I'm guessing David Lucas wrote some of those roast jokes, huh? Uh, does anyone else hate it when the clown you hire for your kid's birthday party turns out to be Jewish? <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I will say this, David Lucas. <laughs> um, I'm glad you... Mario! What? Mario? How Is are it? you? Have you have you worked with him before on something? Yeah, we did Rescue 911 <laughs> <laughs> How fun was that? I, I don't. I'm in a different place than you right now. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Well, David, uh, and as always, an unbelievable set. I mean, I uh, I really almost passed out from laughing a few times during this. Incredible roast jokes. Jesus Christ. I mean, this was unbelievable promotion for your guys' new podcast, and uh, I'm very happy. I always love it when people take chances and do things out of the box and out of the comfort zone, and this was an unbelievable treat. Uh, anything else, David Lucas? <laughs> Okie dokie. It was, uh, it was so oh. nice to be here. Thank you all so much. I'm moving back to the... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. David Lucas, everyone. Fuck yeah. What do you think? Go back to the bucket one more time. <laughs>